Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. I'm going to do a three minute drill and this time I'll be drawing Emily Clark with her uh, nice smile here. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so three minutes starting now. Alright, kind of going to get the overall slant of the eye. Of course I'm drawing Emily Clark. Very beautiful actress from Game of Thrones. Let's see, eye, eye. Comes down, trying to measure the angles of the eyes. So three minutes gives me a little bit more time than the two minutes ones. And usually I've been spending about like a minute or so on the eyes and then end up uh, hurrying on the other ones, on the other. Got really nice eyes. I gotta try to capture that because it's pretty important, obviously. Portrait. It's got a very unique look. Okay, let me see how's that. Okay, a little bit off, but I think it's workable. All right, let's go down. The nose measuring vertical. Might be a little bit too short. Yep, too short. Lower. Angle, angle. Go down to the lip. Here, this way. This angle. Here. Boy, three minutes is not a long time, is it? Jesus. All right. Smiling. Uh, definitely harder. Just more elements and. Expressions are usually more difficult. Okay, checking. Might be a little bit too big. All right, let's see. Eyes too small. Let's see if I can adjust for it. And last minute, let's go down. Let's fill in the face at least. Get something, right? <laughs> Gotta have this. Okay, eyes, yep, not aligned. Let's see, go straight up. I'm drawing a little bit bigger too. Oh, I end up, ended up drawing a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's see. All right, getting there. Hair can be easily fudged. So I think her shape. Face shape is very unique. So, eyebrows higher, adjusting for lightness, and three minutes, and that's it. Wow, that's not a lot of time, is it? Yeah. Well, that thing just flew by. Um, okay, I'm kind of looking at the camera right now. Well, it's actually not that bad. I thought it would be, would be worse. So, it gives me enough to go with uh, to finish this thing out. And I think I'm seeing some errors right now, obviously. And then I could probably adjust for it, hopefully. All right, let's just finish this thing out. Uh, I am using a 4B, so it should be relatively quick in terms of, in terms of shading. So like here, I, I know I, I drawn her eyes too small, so I'm gonna adjust it while I'm doing this final pass of drawing. And I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna try not to erase stuff so, cause I don't wanna be too ticky tack. I just wanna sketch this as best as I can. Cause if you start erasing and checking little things here and there, then you'll never end up finishing the drawing. Cause there's always something off, you know? Especially with these kind of portraits freehand, I mean, you, you know something's not, it's not going to be perfect, so. And, uh, you know, with portraits, it's just, it could be a little bit off, and man, sometimes just, you just can't get it right, even though it's just, it just needs a, like a tiny little error on the face to throw things off sometimes. And I think, uh, actually it's weird, like drawing Emma Watson, that's like the hardest thing to do. Get her likeness. 
Yeah, she's just got that kind of face. But anyway, let's see. Let's hope this one's a little bit easier. Okay, she's got. So her her expression here on the eye is actually very important because she's smiling, and then she's got this little crease here that kind of goes up, that kind of gives it that that smile. So that's why you know, with expressions is is harder because. It's those little things that really sells it, and if you don't get it right, then then you don't, you know, you get an artificial, very artificial uh, expression. So it's hard. Just keep that in mind whenever you're doing <clears throat> expressions, as opposed to just like a maybe like a slight smile, especially when the teeth are the showing. It's even harder. Let's see how's that eye. Yeah, it's not a line. It should be here. It should be a little bit higher. I don't know if I can adjust for it at this point. I can make this one lower. Let's see if I put a little bit more eyeliner here. I can force it down a little bit, maybe. And I put this one higher. All right, let's just go with that. Okay, shading, shading. Shading, nose, dark down here, a little bit of shade here, the bridge, a little bit. Okay, and then the side of the face. Let's leave that for now. Let's go on down to the, the lip, which is more important. Now, this is probably the toughest part because um, her lip is kind of unique, and especially with a smile. So I'm, I'm looking at it, this part is dark, so I'm just gonna hit that. It's like a little triangle right there, all right? And then her teeth. Again, I'm not gonna draw those teeth yet. Uh, I probably won't anyways. I don't wanna draw teeth, because it looks kind of creepy. Usually, you know, a little bit of shading and some lines will generally will. Just some very light shading on the, on the teeth works. So let's see, this is dark here dark here, highlights on the lip, then shaded here, a little bit darker here, darker here, and then the upper lip, Let's see how I'm on camera, okay, upper lip right here on the bottom is dark, kind of fades a little bit, all right, and then goes all the way through. And then, yeah, just kind of like a gradation. And this part is darker. This is rounder. This part is slightly darker. So I'm, j I'm just looking at it and fill in, you know, um, any little thing I see without being too conscious of what it is. That way you can see the form as it is. Just kind of channel yourself out a little bit. Okay, and then the chin, shading here, because she's smiling, and it's very important. Okay, I'm just gonna outline the chin a little bit. She's got a very unique chin here. This, and then it kind of goes in. Very bubbly. All right, see this line here? I'm just gonna lightly outline it because I'm going to shade this part dark. Let's try to get the outline. If I hit it too dark, let's go back up, finish up this line here. Let's fill in the face. Fill in the face hairline. Let's see the hair starts, uh, could be anywhere. Not too important, but all right, somewhere around there. Comes down, curves in. Ear, there's a little bit of ear right around the nose right here. This is dark hair. Okay, so just usually the the hair part is not as important. Okay, let's start a little bit of light shading. I'm not sure where to go with this yet. I don't know how much shading I want to put in, but let's let's outline the. Well, you know what? Let's let's do the eye one more. Let's give the eye another pass, since it's so important. 
dark dark a little more shading around it a little more crease here line turning my pencil to get a harder line okay let's do the eyeball a little bit better shade that Give it a nice little gradation so that it pops out. Gives it a nice shine to it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now this part, you know, I, ugh, I do need to erase because it's too black down here. It needs to be whiter the whiter the eye. So little things like that, I can uh, just dab it with the needed eraser. If I needed to, I can use the electronic eraser to bring out, really bring out the, the highlight, bring back the paper. Yeah, let's do the other eye. Here is the tough part, the expression. Crease here. Okay. Shading on the eyeball, dark. I'm not sure how much shading to do. That's what I was talking about. Um, I don't know if I can do maybe like a glamour style, kind of minimalistic, or uh, I might just kind of shade it in. It does have quite a bit of features, like a lot of um, more bubbly features. Right? All right, let's let's shade in the face here. Uh, so this will give me a nice outline on the face. Be a little too wide, isn't it? Okay. Well, if it's too wide, I can always just darken it and fix it. But, but if I go in too much, then you know, you might make the face too narrow. Then you can't do anything about it because it's you've gone so dark. Okay. So once, once I'm committed at making this kind of dark uh, hair drawing right here, that just means that I'm going to have to, you know, darken uh, the face a lot more, you know, because now the hair is really dark. So I'm kind of committed to this kind of harder shading, darker shading. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll probably just cross hatch, you know, the, the face. So I think once you do that, then it's like you can't really have a glamour style <laughs> shading in here, or does it look really weird? Okay, so let's just go for it. All right, let's just uh, shading darker, darker. Now, so I'm gonna I'll stick with this uh, 4B. Okay, let's start shading. This is darker, darker nose a little bit darker underneath the nose some shadowing going on okay so you can see you know um as i start shading more it feels uh you can feel it more right now you can start feeling the shape like this lip here it's just got quite a pronounced uh, gradation right there and that that's important to bring out the smile and then the lip let's darken that up a little bit because now that everything else is darker this lip seems way too light so i'm just kind of working in stages everything is relative especially with values okay let's do a little bit more shading in here just got very pronounced features here so the danger uh, of this kind of shading is that you know if you go overboard or a little bit too much then the face becomes a little bit too hard just becomes a little bit butch right so that's always the danger with the female face with a guy's face you know it's, it's cool you know it's like you can, you can go rough at it and it actually adds to the you know, the, the, the manliness of the, the face, so 
Okay, this the bridge here. It, um, it's very slight, but it's always dark. Okay, and because you know they always sinks in right the right between the eyes right there. So it's it's, it's important to give it a, a very light shading on that, or else your face might look really really flat, which is uh, obviously not normal. I guess unless you're like some kind of Asian. Get some of that, but even even Asians, I mean, you know, there's there's always a little bit there. All right, let's shade this eye a little bit more. And this is pretty pronounced here because um, this little bag here. It's it's important because it shows a smile, right? So it's part of the expression. I know they want to generally don't want to have bags under the eye, but you don't shade it in, then you kind of uh, you kind of robbing yourself of the expression. So that part is important. Important right, shading here. Let's go down. Very light. Uh, using a four B, so I can't hit too hard if I want real light shading. And unless I change my pencil, but it's okay. I'm just gonna keep this. Okay, and then underneath the chin is dark. Okay. So I think you got the idea, right? Uh, well, quick three minute sketch and it turned into like, what, 15 minute sketch. <laughs> but I mean, it's not bad, you know, 15 minutes for this. It's fun, it's, it's good practice. Okay, so I might push this a little bit more and yeah, definitely, I think just looking at it right now, her eyes are way too far apart, you know, I think one of her features is that is actually that her eyes are kind of closer together. So that's a big boo-boo. I don't know if I can adjust for it. I might be able to erase out and just push it in a little bit. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. But overall, you know, that's, that's my little sketch here. I might push this a little bit more off camera. All right, so here's the final drawing and it doesn't really look like Emily, but it is a pretty face, so that's the most important thing. So uh, better luck with the lightness next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time.